Taryn Chantel Wurzbach here, and I am an ordained Christian minister. I want to talk about a quote that I wrote late last night, and it goes like this. A lingering, gentle nudge of something that needs to be done is God's way of messaging you. Now, a lot of us think that God doesn't message us. He never sends us signs, but he actually does. You can have a little tiny nudge of festering in your stomach of something that you need to say or do, an action that needs to be taken. And that's God telling you gently that you need to do that. It might come along at the spur of the moment, or it might be something that keeps repeating over and over again, this feeling of something that needs to be done. And that's the gentle way that God is telling you to tell the truth, to do the right thing, to go this way or that way in your life. If that feeling and that sense of urgency keeps coming up and it gets stronger and stronger and stronger, I'm recommending that you think about this in a different way. That you suddenly start realizing that God is giving you signs. He's giving you feelings, little messages of the path that you need to take in your life. I've had overwhelming feelings like this all my life. And not until just a few years ago did I realize that that was God talking to me very gently. And now it's kind of a joke inside myself. And last night I had that feeling, a gentle urge. And I like to say to myself, stop nagging me, God. I don't want to do it right now. I don't want to do what you're urging me to do right now. I want to do other things. I want to relax. I want to sit with my thoughts. I don't want to do that because I have many other things to do. But that feeling gnaws at me and it gets stronger and stronger. And recently, if I get that feeling, I act on it almost immediately. Like last night, this feeling of checking on something online for someone else. And what I checked on was to catch someone in a lie. And I did. I, kept, I caught this person in a lie and I presented this information to the person that needed to hear it. And the person that needed to hear it is in such denial about this other person that they cannot see the truth. Even into today, when I checked online again and saw this evidence, the person still didn't want to see the truth. And I was aggravated because this person's been contacting me every single night for three weeks, trying to have me help them with their problem, which I am more than willing to do. But at this point, it's pretty clear that the person that they're involved with is a liar. And I don't stand for lying. And if I see the truth, I present it. If you're holding on to the truth and you're not releasing it to the person that needs to see it, you need to let it go. You need to let that truth out and release that person from the denial that they're in. Because eventually that person will get really hurt by this other person. And this is what I've been trying to do. Release this person from that denial. But suddenly today, right before I decided to make this video, I got kind of a, a feeling of, how do I say, a feeling of peace. Because... 
I have done my part. I have spent three weeks every single night talking to this person, really trying to put some sense in their brain, but they're just not ready to see the truth. And when I got this, this feeling today of peace, it was God telling me that he's going to help this person realize the truth over the next few weeks and months. He will re release and show forth lies that have been done to this person. And I know that this matter is really out of my hands right now. You can say, why am I meddling in someone else's life? I don't have a right to do that. But I do when they are screaming for help. And they personally asked me for help. I have every right to do research and find out information that this person is being scammed and being lied to. I have a right to do that. But what I got revealed to me right before this video was that I'm at peace now knowing that I did all that I can do. And basically it's in God's hands now to reveal more truth onto this person. If you're in a situation where you're holding on to a lie, please release yourself from that pain. Tell the truth. Reveal to that other person that that person's been being scammed, maybe for years. That person can move on with their life. They can take a new direction. Let me repeat my quote. A lingering gentle nudge of something that needs to be done is God's way of messaging you. That little gnawing feeling that you get that won't go away. That's God's messaging you to help you realize the truth. And I really hope you answer that call. He'll be calling you again and again. Once you answer that call, you too will be at peace and know what direction you should take or advise someone else of what possible direction they should take in their future. I hope you're receiving my message today and you're open to it. Because once you're open to receiving these small little messages from God, you will be able to get more messages and you'll have more clarity in your everyday steps in life. Thanks for watching this video. Again, this has been Taryn Chantel Warsbach, and I am an ordained Christian minister. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.